Good morning. <laughs> My name is Ryan Goring. I'm the chief ranger for the Diablo Range District, California State Parks. First off, I want to let everyone know that we have additional uh, masks and hand sanitizer back on the tables. We want to make sure we're COVID safe. Um, and we also have some water available if you guys haven't found it already in the ice chest in the back. On behalf of California State Parks, welcome to Mount Diablo State Park. The mission of California State Parks is to provide for the health, inspiration, and education of the people of California by helping to preserve the state's extraordinary biological diversity, protecting its most valued natural and cultural resources, and creating opportunities for high quality outdoor recreation. We're here today to celebrate the recently announced $1.5 million funding for our bike turnout project that will improve safety and access for all of our park visitors. First, I'd like to introduce and personally thank key state park staff community members and dignitaries present or that were pre involved previously in the project. Uh, in the back somewhere is Cameron Morrison. He's our supervising ranger. Hey, Cameron. He's somewhere back there. He might be flying a drone in a little bit, so if you hear a drone, that's him. He's gonna get some cool pictures for us. Um, in the back is, I believe I saw him, Eric Griggs. He's our maintenance supervisor. Here behind me is Matt Bella. He's our Central Division Chief. And then roaming around somewhere is Doug Johnson. He's our Information Officer and from Sacramento. And then we have uh, a few maintenance staff that helped us out. I see Tyler in the back, uh, but they, they helped us set up for today. Some st State Park staff that weren't, aren't present today that couldn't be here. Uh, highly involved in the project was Monty Rowan. He's our maintenance chief. He was the previous maintenance supervisor, but he helped um, myself put together the project. Also, Eddie Garacha, he's our Bay Area District Superintendent. He's on a much needed vacation right now. Uh, Gloria Sandoval, she's our Deputy Director of Public Affairs. Morel Barajas, de dire uh, excuse me, Deputy Director of Legislative Affairs. That's a tongue twister. Liz McGurk, our Chief Deputy Director, they have all been highly involved in this project. In addition to our many volunteers, bicyclists, and many other Mount Diablo State, State Park members' input, I would like to thank and introduce the key members of Mount Diablo Cyclist Group that were instrumental in advocating and pushing our local representative for support. Alan Kalen, yeah. President of Mount Diablo Cyclist, and I see Linda Kwong back here. She's the Vice President of Mount Diablo Cyclist. Uh, some dignitaries and representative presence from the state 7th Senate District and who was instrumental in our funding, State Senator Steve Glazier. From the state 16th Assembly District, Assemblywoman Rebecca bauer Kahan. We also have a representative uh, representing Candace Anderson, Contra Costa County District uh, 2 Board of Supervisors. Uh, Jennifer Qualick, over here. Uh, did Newell Arnich, is he here today? Uh, he can be here, he's from the Townville, uh, Town of Danville, Vice Mayor. Uh, and then Alan Shields, Chief of Police. They all lend their support. Oh, yeah, I have her. Karen Stepper, former mayor and current Town of Danville council member, is here today. And then others that uh, couldn't attend that, but wished us success, uh, Karen Mishoff, District 4, Contra Costa County Board of Supervisor. Um, also Dave Fong, uh, Danville council member. Catherine Baker, she was a former 16th District Assemblywoman that also helped advocate for uh, funding for this project. And Susan Kendall, Town of Lafayette Mayor. So how did we get here today? Since September 2014, I've been working with staff and Mount Diablo cyclists on improving safety for all users in the park. 
We have made many improvements for bicycle and driver safety on our roads. We educated our park users regularly on our webpage, social media, and our, at our entrance stations. We installed several bike repair stations throughout the park. And in 2016, probably some of you guys remember, we had an event just like this here. We had a roadway signing and striping improvement project where we installed many signs, including do not pass on blind curves on this side, um, avoid crash, slow down, and share the road. We also uh, installed bike sharrows, installed many other safety signage. And using the Caltrans standards, we uh, double strike much of the park roads to denote no passing areas. We had five passing areas in the park that were identified with sufficient clearance to allow for passing. Much of these improvements have significantly decreased our roadway accident rates. Prior to our safety improvements, we were averaging approximately 30 collisions per year in, in, uh, involving bicyclists and or vehicles or both. After these improvements in 2016, we reduced them to approximately five per year, an 80% reduction. <laughs> Unfortunately, during COVID, during COVID, uh, we did see an increase in that rate, um, mostly solo bike collisions um, due to increased ridership and primarily a little bit due to speeding. Uh, so we have more work to do to educate um, our park users and enforce our laws to, re to reduce these unnecessary accidents. We installed three test bike turnouts. We're standing on one of those right here. These turnouts are designed to allow slow moving bicyclists to pull off the roadway while allowing ascending vehicles to pass safely. Once the vehicle passes, the bicycle will then merge back into the lane to continue their ascent. Immediately it was apparent that these bike, bike turnouts would work. So we immediately started planning how we can install as many of these uh, turnouts at areas along the parks, roads that had sufficient space and distance to do so. Primarily, primarily focusing on blind curves. In 2019, we were able to get our project environmental impact approved and we just needed funding to move the project forward. Last year, our district was able to identify some limited funding and then we installed four more bike turnouts, two on Southgate, one on Northgate Road and one on Summit Road. There's a map over here and a couple pictures. I'm sure many of you are familiar with those. We recently also just installed additional turnout signage aimed at drivers and bicyclists, such as pass it turnouts and passing lanes, and bicyclists must use turnouts. Those are here on the, my right. State Parks is excited that now we now have additional funding dedicated to installing more of these bike turnouts for safety. Next, I would like to introduce Alan Kalen, president of Mount Diablo Cyclists to speak. Thank you. Diablo. We are here today to celebrate the $1.5 million budgeted by the state legislature for bike turnouts on Mount Diablo. I would ask everyone to take a moment and pause and reflect upon your contribution to this historic accomplishment. This has truly been a team effort by thousands of people throughout the Bay Area. State Senator Glazier and Assemblymember Bauer Kahan, your collaborative style of leadership has been critical to this project. Each of you should be commended for your hard work and dedication. Special thanks to Linda Kwan, Greg Sorensen, Dan Weintraub, John Gallagher, Dan Borenstein, Bruce Erickson, and all the members of Mount Diablo Cyclists for all your hard work and relentless focus to install bike turnouts on Mount Diablo.
what is a bike turnout? Bike turnouts allow a cyclist pedaling uphill to move slightly to the right, thereby allowing a motorist to pass safely. That is, without crossing into the downhill lane and possibly colliding with a descending cyclist. Bike turnouts have the potential to prevent collisions and save lives. Every year, thousands of motorists and cyclists travel up and down the roads of Mount Diablo. On a typical Saturday, up to 500 drivers share the roads with approximately 700 cyclists. 60% of all vehicles on Mount Diablo are bicycles. Surveys show that approximately 30% of all vehicles pass cyclists unsafely. Most motorists entering the park have never been to Mount Diablo before and are unaware that they will share the narrow, windy roads with hundreds of cyclists. Please raise your hand if you have ever had a vehicle pass you on a blind curve. <laughs> Hold your hand high, please. Or had a near miss bike versus vehicle collision. Or had a near or had an actual bike versus vehicle collision. <laughs> your why bike turnouts were created. Unfortunately, there is one very special person who is not here with us today. Joe Shammy, the legend of Mount Diablo. Joe was my friend. Joe was your friend. Joe was 86 years young and a force of nature. He rode his bike up Mont Diablo 615 consecutive weeks for over 11 years. Along the way, he motivated and inspired thousands of people to sign a petition to install bike turnouts on Mount Diablo. He spoke to elected leaders the media, and countless park visitors. Joe was no ordinary Joe. Joe never accepted no when lives were at stake and always tried to inspire people to help improve the safety for cyclists on Mount Diablo. As a result of his efforts, we are dedicating the bike turnouts today to Joe Shammy, the legend of Mount Diablo. We urge state parks to expedite the $1.5 million project and install bike turnouts as soon as possible. Every bike turnout has the potential to prevent a collision and save a life. Thank you for allowing me to speak here today. It has been a privilege and an honor. I would like now to introduce our next speaker, Senator Steve Glazier. He was elected to the California State Senate in a special election in 2015. Senator Steve Glazier won re-election to a full four-year term in 2016 and again in 2020. Representing Senate District 7 based in Contra Costa and Alameda counties. Senator Glazier has been a lifelong advocate 
for bicycle and safety on Mount Diablo. Please welcome State Senator Glazier. Thank you, thank you, Al. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Chief Ranger, I wanna say thank you to your team and staff up here, not just for this event, but for what you do every day to keep us safe on this mountain. Thank you very, very much. You know, Al, Al was one of the first constituents I met after I, I took office six years ago, and we have stayed in touch ever since. Uh, he has always been a dogged advocate for this region's cyclists and for safety, and I salute uh, his passion, Al. Today's event uh, is a testament to the power of his persistence and your persistence, not only in climbing Mount Diablo, but in pushing the community and the legislature to do more to protect the lives of our region's many cyclists. But if this issue were only about making it easier and safer for cyclists to challenge themselves riding up this majestic mountain, we probably would not be here today. The truth is, is that this funding is also important to those who want to explore Mount Diablo and all its glory, but don't have the desire or the ability to do so on a bike. Anyone who has ever driven to the top of this peak knows it can be a frustrating experience. <laughs> Lines of cars creep up slowly this narrow mountain road because they cannot pass safely the hundreds of cyclists who come out every weekend to enjoy the climb. And when they do pass, the cars sometimes veer across the center of the road, as you all know, putting not just cyclists in danger, but themselves and fellow motorists as well. The turnout this money will pay for will allow vehicles to pass safely, speeding their traffic, reducing traffic, and of course, air pollution and making the park more accessible to all on two wheels or on four. At the urging of Al and the Mount Diablo cyclists, the park has already mapped 77 potential turnouts and certified that they can be built without any adverse environmental effect. With this funding, <laughs> with this funding, it's our hope that the project will get underway immediately and that in short time, cyclists and motorists will be moving up this road more safely and more quickly, and that everyone who visits this great park will be enjoying the experience more than ever before. And I cannot wait to see that happen. Thank you all for your advocacy. Thank you for your leadership, for many of you here. And I look forward, I was here in 16 when we uh, did the, the signage, and I hope to be back within 12 months to uh, acknowledge the accomplishments of our wonderful Ranger staff in getting these turnouts built. Thank you all so much. I would like to introduce our next speaker, Assemblywoman Rebecca Bauer Cahan. After being elected to office in 2018, she met with members of Mount Diablo cyclists to learn about bike turnouts on Mount Diablo and their value to the visitors and her constituents. We appreciate her continuous support throughout the past few years and are happy she has joined us here this morning. Please welcome Assemblywoman Rebecca bauer -Kate. everybody. Well, it's a pleasure to be here with all of you in this incredible place. I think it is one of the gems of the 16th Assembly District that I get to represent and our community as a whole. Um, and I have to say that Senator Glazer stole my opening line, which is one of the first people I met when I was elected, was Alan. <laughs> so I guess it was true for both of us. But yes, Alan and Linda were some of the first people who came and spoke to me when I was elected to this office. And I was saying to Alan this morning that I think he has um, a job to do moving forward, which is to teach our youth what it means to truly advocate for something that is gonna change our community for the better and then see it come to fruition. And that from start to finish years of work is gonna make our community better and safer 
and to all of you that have advocated for this over the years before my tenure in the legislature and during, you know, thank you, because this really is an incredible thing that is happening today, and you are a huge part of why we are here and why the community is going to be safer. Um, and I also want to thank State Parks and the Chief Ranger and his entire team. My family, when I told my kids this is what I was doing this morning, they were very jealous. They're at school, but Rock City is one of our favorite places to come on the weekend and climb rocks and enjoy an afternoon. And uh, I just am so grateful for everything the parks do to keep us safe. But given how often we come here, I know firsthand what it means to drive up this mountain with each and every one of you and all the cyclists who are coming up. And it is harrowing. It is frustrating. It is also harrowing for the drivers and for the cyclists. And so I want to thank the Rangers for all they're doing every day to keep us safe. But we can do more. And that's what we're doing here today. And I want to thank the Senator for his leadership to get this funding um, in the Senate and in the budget so that we could do what we're doing today. It is always a question of, you know, how are we going to spend the state's dollars? And I think there's no question to me and to the Senator and to the rest of the legislature that keeping our cyclists safe keeping our parks accessible to everyone is a priority for all of us. And we've seen over the last, we heard the, the statistics, but over the last year and a half, our state parks have become more in demand than they even were before the pandemic. And more people are realizing the value of being out in nature and enjoying these beautiful gems of California. And with that comes an increase in the need for this type of turnout and this type of safety measure. So I wanna thank you all for all the work we did because it really truly is a team effort and a partnership to make these things come to light. And I just wanted to also acknowledge Joe Shammy. When I heard of his passing, um, you know, I think he came to every single one of my community coffees on his bike. And um, it was always a pleasure to see Joe. And I know that he would be here today, having cycled up the mountain, so happy that this all came to be. And so in his memory, and in his honor and for everybody who will come after him on these turnouts, I know that it is just a privilege to be a part of it and to be a part of making our community safer and less frustrating and less harrowing. So thank you. And uh, we will do everything in our power in the legislature to make sure this happens as quickly as possible. But I know Parks is on our team with that and we will be back soon with all of you to celebrate the usage of these bike turnouts. So thank you. Our next speaker will be uh, Matt Bella, Central Division Chief. Good morning. So we're obviously excited to be here. We're excited to expand the work that's been done. Um, currently, we're working with uh, the engineers at our Northern Service Center in Sacramento to develop a timeline to start a construction contract. Um, local staff have done a great job working with all of you to uh, develop a, a project scope. Um, but we still need to develop specific details, construction drawings, um, and a big package to go out for, for public advertisement and award. We're also pleased to announce uh, we have longer term plans to do a phase one uh, repave and repair of Northgate, Summit, and Southgate Roads. The department has allocated $10 million in Prop 68 funding for this first phase for repaving and repairing roads Southgate, Northgate, and Summit. Obviously, we're looking at priorities like uh, permanent repair of uh, 2,000 slip out on Northgate, um, places where it's gone down to one lane traffic. Uh, currently, with that one, we're investigating geologic impacts and we're trying to come up with a project scope. It's obviously high on the department's priority list, high on the district's priority list. Um, that one's a little bit further out. That's estimated to start in 2023. So obviously a big thank you from the department, um, obviously to, to Senator Glazer, to Assembly Bauer Kahn, um, for this additional funding for the project. Um, it's, it's, it's huge and we're very excited to be working with all of you on it. It's also great uh, to thank the staff that um, has worked hard to kind of get that initial project scope going. Uh, so Chief Ranger Ryan Goring, um, our District Maintenance Chief Bonnie Rowan, um, who've worked with all of you in the community to, to get the initial project going. And then lastly, and mo most importantly, um, the department would like to thank the Mount Diablo cyclists and really everybody that's here today and everybody um, that couldn't make it here today for really moving this project forward and keeping it on everybody's uh, radar and making it a priority and, and helping us get this funding. Thank you all. Thank you. 